Today we are back on the Infinite Realm server, but we're about to set up a brand new, unique business in the shopping district. Now there are already plenty of shops around, so you may be thinking, what's missing? Entertainment! So, we're going to be opening a casino, and also learn about a strange organisation who seem to strongly dislike those slugs that have shells on their back. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. As you can see, the shopping district is already quite busy with many shops and buildings and different districts and things so it can be quite hard to find the right place and the right amount of space for what we want to build but after spending way too long of searching i found this little spot over here and i think it could work quite well the way i was planning on building it uh, parts of it were going to be underground and there's a lot of underground structures but anyway i think this could be a good place to put the outside building and we can always connect it to the bridge so we'd have part of the underground bit which you can see maybe through like a couple windows or something i'm thinking some sort of round small round building just for the entrance way and normally i take far too long thinking about these things so i'm going to go and gather some resources see what we can find and we'll go from there it's now been a few days since that last recording but as you can see, I've gathered some resources, got some spruce, some sand, glass, and some dark oak. Now by here, I've expanded this little bridge pathway. So where the front of it will be, these are just some signs for anyone who comes wandering past whilst it's still being built. And I've also put in this temporary oak um, circle. I don't know if you can see if it's a circle. From above, it's a circle. It's just because of the height difference, it makes it look not like a circle, but it is a circle. <laughs> Oh, and fun fact, we got a drowned head. I, I don't know how, but we got one. Alright, it's coming along quite well. Um, I had a bit of difficulty with this back wall because you can see here there's like this giant underground space i don't know where it came from and i've tried to even it out with the spruce instead of using glass we can always change it for something else and i've also managed to put windows at the back even though it's one block below i've used dark oak stairs so it kind of uh gradients down here it's quite flat against the glass and then here it kind of curves around at the edges so that's quite nice you can see it from this side we have got a lot more to do with this place and of course we've got to do the entire downstairs as well, this is just the entrance. And as you can see we are running slightly lower on resources here. This is the only spruce I've got left, so I'm probably going to run out of that. As for the glass, we're probably good to go. But I think it's just a case of carrying on and collecting more resources when we run out. Before we go check out what I've done with the build, I think it's time to bring up the pace a bit. Now, as this is a business which will generate diamonds from us, from the community, we can't start with nothing, obviously. So I'm going to go mining, see if I can get diamonds. I've, I've never been mining in this server yet. And hopefully we can get some diamonds to get us started on this little project. I'm going to take two and we're going to leave the others. And they may be thinking, oh, it's obvious. He's just going to make an enchanting table, somehow get 10 more levels and get lucky and get fortune 3 on his first try. But I have another plan of what to do with these two diamonds. Something so clever, something so well thought through. Four books, two diamonds, fortune 3. Right, okay, I finally made it out of the caves. I did get a little bit lost. We have gathered a lot of resources along the way and we got 29 diamonds, which is gonna be very useful for starting up this little business so to continue building now all we need is nine blocks of gold and we'll take all the diamonds because i want to fill up some payout um machines i'll explain i'll explain when we're there i'll explain when we're there so i was just traveling by in the nether to collect some quartz for the build and i came across this build which i'm pretty sure is a hoglin farm and there's a sign saying it's now publioc so <laughs> oh okay well I guess we don't need to live off of potatoes anymore. Finally, we've arrived back at the build. As you can see, I have finished the entrance part of it and we can go around. We can see it has a roof now and it's all finally done. I've also finished making this little trap door, which is sort of opened up and you can go down. And there's only one section of the exterior left and that's this front panel up here. So we need one diamond block. This is a very expensive part of the build. <laughs> the barrels and the jets. 
I mean, thank you. I'll use them. Quartz goes in like this. And that's the exterior done. Now, if you're wondering what it actually is, um, you can use your imagination, really. I mean, it can be a nice pattern. It can be the letter S. It could be a dollar sign. Yeah, you know, just use your imagination. It's just supposed to be a bit of a stamp on the front of the building, which kind of stands out and shows the wealthiness of what's going to be within. The entrance is complete, other than a block of glowstone which will put in there. But, but like, pretend it's there, it's fine, pretend it's there. Now I think we're ready to venture down and continue this and expand underground into the main part of the build. 128 wool for one diamond. That's two stacks. That's two stacks. Oh, ancient debris. Guys, guys. Uh, you know what? I want to pick it up for the achievement. For the achievement only. Yes. Okay, that's it. All right, it's been about a week since that last clip you saw. Um, I have been away, so I've been trying to spend time on the server when I can, and we've made some decent progress on the underground. I've also just noted that <laughs> why is there an item frame? But moving on, as you can see, I've sort of closed this trapdoor-y entrance thing, but obviously when the district opens, this is going to be back up. This is just temporary. I thought it would be a nice added effect whilst it's closed. Uh, but if we come through, you can see it sort of opens out and we have these fences as sort of supports which also carry the weight of the ceiling here. And then we have this red carpet sort of path which goes forwards and we'll, we'll have an area going this way with, with different lounge areas and things. The area I've worked on the most at the moment is bringing the carpet going back around the back of the staircase. And I was going to make like a bar area here, but I think this could be a good place to maybe put up a few maybe like mini game stands or or maybe like a, a a mini dropper for like a double or nothing machine or something you can also see we've put the barrels to use as a nice bit of decor and from the outside we've got these windows and the same stairs effect as we had behind the top around there um, which i think gives it a nicer finish and it's it's nice it's more gradual now i've come up with a sort of plan for this place to open it in sort of stages so the first thing is to finish these walls going around to here and this is going to go onwards but I'd like to put up a temporary wall across and around just to seal off that area just until we expand in the future and that's so I can build up a few games or machines around the back here just, just one or two literally really small things but the idea is to open it as soon as possible to release as many updates to it as I can. An additional point for doing this is that on the Infinite Realms Discord server, link in the description, um, there's a private channel for the members to see where we post updates in the shopping district and any new builds and projects going on around here in the community area. And the way I see it is it updates everyone on what's going on in the communal area and it makes a great space for interaction and a little bit of self-promotion <laughs> for people's mini shops and businesses and I can use that to my advantage by having a first opening but also having multiple other updates in the future. Um, I've just been scouting around for any new builds or projects coming together and I've, I've noticed something. That, that is a picture of Gary and there is a cross going through Gary. I mean I don't, I don't personally have a problem with snails, I think this is taking it a bit too far. Um, I mean, Gary's a wonderful snail. Now, there have actually been some um, events going on with snails. It's led to two groups sort of forming of the pro and anti-snail. And I initially joined the pro snails because... Not, not because I liked snails in particular. I mean, snails are pretty cool, right? But, like, I just don't have a problem with them. And if any, any of these um, strong believers in or against the snail are, are seeing this, I, I don't have strong opinions of snails, but th this piece of propaganda here, th I mean, this personally, it's it's unacceptable because it's it's within the view of my district over there. It could be decreasing the popularity of the area and therefore my district. So, sorry, but um, I'm going to take that down. Maybe that's why the item... Did someone put one on the front of the district? Okay, I mean, that's a bit too far if someone did do that. Place for sale. Nice. I mean, I would be interested if I didn't die there, but you know, I did die there multiple times. So I'm not interested. <laughs> and just like that, we are finished for now. If we go down, we have this curved wall here, 
um, and I did this textury thing because I thought it looked cool. Main lounge coming soon, and then it says bigger games, bigger prizes. So that's going to be upcoming. The strip of all we have stone bricks surrounded by logs going across, and I tried to make it match by here, and that oak plank just doesn't look right, but it's staying there for now. So this bottom block is going to be a dropper where you put diamonds in, and then you press a button. Uh, it takes one diamond out and goes into a system. It'll either keep it or it'll do a ding sound and one will pop out of the ground around here somewhere. It's going to be like a little arcade machine kind of thing. Uh, li listen to this sound now. It's just, it's just such a good sound. Oh, it's so nice. And with that, the first machine is pretty much done. We put the diamonds in here. You hit a button. So it, we just won two diamonds there. And it took one from here, so we got a one diamond profit. So it's, it's a double or nothing kind of thing. So the concept is, after this sound's been made, the redstone passes through. We have this um, dropper facing into a hopper. And they're both facing into each other. And what happens here is one item from the dropper is passed into the hopper and back. So when a non-stackable item, such as these wooden shovels, gets passed through to the hopper and back, if we just do that, and we imagine it put it back, that's the two dings and it dispenses the two diamonds. But if we remove one of the stackable items, like the cobble or dirt or whatever, oops, um, you can see that it doesn't power this at all. So at the moment it's set to a two to three ratio. So players have a 40% chance of winning. And I might change this, I might, I might raise the player's chance. We need more diamonds and then we need even more for the next machine and i really don't want to remove the diamond block from up there but i will replace it with dirt temporarily if necessary what no it's fine it's fine <laughs> yo we beat the game <laughs> that's really annoying my number, look at my number. I'm on 7,500. It's awful. And after some more time spent on the server and a little bit less thinking about how I was killed by a single enderman, we are now here where we have a stack and 48 diamonds. We did a lot of mining. I got very lucky earlier today. So that's very good. It's gonna be very useful. We are not gonna have to replace the diamond block with dirt, which I'm very happy about. I've tried to decorate these the best I can with crimson trap doors, a bit of a bit more dark oak and, and stone slabs. Um, and I think they look all right. The paintings definitely help a lot. Now I obviously need a way to fill up these machines and get any profit out of them. And for that, I've made a secret room. Look how amazing this place is. It, re it really has a, a nice homely feel. Um, it, need it needs a bit of work. Um, um, we have, I've put some lighting in. And here we've got the two droppers where we put in the diamonds, which is where new diamonds go and also where they're dispensed from. I'll do a bit of testing just to, just to make sure. Also, I'd like to point out that I do know that making a secret room and, and, then, and then saying that I've got a secret room and showing the secret room isn't a secret, but I want to call it a secret room, okay? It's a secret room. I ran out of diamonds. <laughs> I have to be honest, my, my luck hasn't been great. But d despite the odds of the dispenser which I set, we did manage to make a bit of profit at one point, and, and I just I just kept spending it. Um, I, I did make a profit and I could have stopped, but, but I wanted to see how far I could push it um, until we lost everything. And it did take a bit of time to be fair, and I've also now increased the odds of winning. Um, so if anyone else comes, they have a better chance than me. So in short, is it a good idea to use these to make a long term profits on the server? Absolutely not. But should you play them anyway? Yes, because you're giving me your money. Because you can make a really big profit, which I have actually done in a few of the tests, which I did before I did all the decoration and stuff. So it is possible. I wasn't very lucky, but got to give it a try to find out, you know? <laughs> I was hoping to start some work on this uh, main lounge, as we called it, um, but unfortunately we don't have time to do that in this video, but I am hoping in the next episode that um, we can roll out a whole ton of machines and stuff. I'll put a link in the description to Rexstone, who designed these really cool little arcade games, and some of the others which I might be implementing into the build, but it'll be good to get some variety, so we'll see what happens. I think we're ready to put up this uh, 
log uh, trap door -y thing because we're opening. Uh, I, I want to clarify this. This is not an official opening. This, this is just um, it's it's open, but it it it's not the official opening. But you can come in if you want and y y use the the uh, the machines over there. But but it's not it's not an official opening. It's but but you can come in. I can now take down this sign and I'm gonna move everything from this chest to downstairs. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in my inventory. Okay, you know what? Look, it's gone. We can also get rid of this and the official opening. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Not the no, <laughs> the unofficial opening. Yes, the unofficial the unofficial opening has opened. What a brilliant end. Now, if you are redstone observant, things like this, you may have noticed these trap doors here. You may be thinking, when I hit the button, they don't go down afterwards. And that is because under these slabs around the back, we have levers <laughs> to force them open. So there you go. This is perfect time. The sun is just set and we can uh, end, end the, the video. Yeah, that's a good outro. But thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like and let me know in the comments what you thought because I'm always looking to improve my content, especially recently to compensate for my inconsistent uploads. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. I get that it's something you probably hear a lot on YouTube, but it's a free way of supporting me and the channel. So thank you so much to everyone who's supported me so far. And I'll see you in another video. If you want to see another one of my videos, I'll put my favorite on the screen right now. Uh, you can go ahead and watch it. It's my, it's my favorite so far. It was really fun. Uh, so go check that out. But bye.